everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so much stuff to show you, but a lot of it was a big strikeout. <laughs> I placed a huge order, well, I say huge, but a big order for me on anthropology. My mission lately has been, which I've told you this, is to get some, I want some just nice, fancy, pretty, special tops like nice bow blouses and things like that, kind of like the purple one that I had on last week. And I have been everywhere. I have been just The Loft, Ann Taylor, Banana Republic, H&M. I've been to all the typical places and Oliver has a few tops that I want, but they are just like really expensive. But the more I shop, the more I see a really nice blouse is expensive. So last weekend, I was looking on Anthropology. There was one shirt that I bought twice because I put it in my cart on Instagram and then I ended up getting it again. I do that so much, I have got to pay attention. I spent yesterday trying to set myself up for today so I could get it up in time, but I did some B-roll. I'll start off with what I'm wearing. It is so cute. This is my favorite thing, that's why I'm wearing it. But it is a jumpsuit, and this is from Anthropology. And, oh my gosh, I love it. I feel so either Austin Powers or what I really think of, and they actually have this in solid black too. I don't think they had my size, this is a small. It reminds me of a Diane von Furstenberg, like her type of print. And I always love her outfits, like when she does the two-piece matching sets, or, of course, I love her wrap dresses, but she even has some jumpsuits, and I always hate to pay that much. This one was, I think, 160, which still isn't cheap, but if, you're, if you think you're getting the pants and the top, so it's a whole outfit. And hold on, I think Chanel is trying to get out of Will's room. Are we talking? Yeah, you did. Okay, come on. We're talking to our friends. Okay, yeah. She goes in the bathroom and then goes in his room and sleeps. Yes. Love this so much and it's cold today. You guys, it's gotten so cold here. I feel like it's really gotten cold fast. It's been in the 40s at night. We had to bring in like most all of our plants and everything. And this is what I will wear today. You could easily wear, you know, a uh, denim jacket if you wanted to make it a little bit more casual. Oh, now that I put this on, I don't know. Is this what I should wear? If I do, I will definitely probably zip it up. I think that would look better to keep the form. Yeah, definitely. So that is probably what I will wear over it, but I tell you what would really look good is a, a big faux fur. Here's Chanel on the table. She's got to check out what we're doing. So the boots I have on are just ones that I've had from Rag and Bone, but Sam Edelman has a boot that is very similar to this. I always wanted the white ones and they were always out of my size. And then he has the ones that are in this winter white, but they were not available to buy yet. So I will link those down below. Hopefully they're able to buy. Chanel, what are you doing? Okay, so let's get started. First thing I want to show you is, I think I'm talking to you. You think I'm talking to you? New tank from Honey Love. This is not sponsored at all. They did send this to me because I wanted this color. It's a new one. It's called Cinnamon, I think, but it is the best nude. It, I will put some B-roll in here. It is just perfect to wear under anything. And this was kind of cool yesterday. I wore it out and you know, I wore it as my bra, and I never even thought about this keeping you warm, but after I was in and out of the car, in and out of the car, I, it had come up a little bit. So I reached under my sweatshirt and, you know, pulled it back down, and it was just like instant warmth, even underneath my sweatshirt. I had a sweatshirt and a blazer on. That's how cool it was. This is really gonna help us stay warm too. I didn't even think about that but I just love these. These and the ones with the cami straps are what I would really, really, really suggest. And the leggings, the leggings. 
can I give you some updates just in case you're wondering, <laughs> just in case you care. Our dryer has never come. It was supposed to be here in seven to 10 days. John called and they said, it is somewhere in the country on a train. They can't locate it. So I think what we're gonna do is buy a used dryer and then just have that until we get the one that, cause we want the one that matches our washing machine. And John is going to take that apart and look at it, but he doesn't think he can fix it cause he thinks it's some kind of board or something that is not working. So that's the update on that. I am so happy. I'm so happy about this that nothing else is going to upset me. I got my sofa the other day for upstairs. So I have one more thing that is coming in tomorrow from Wayfair. It is, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's a big, big, beautiful mirror that's coming to go upstairs. So I am making videos, tis the season. Everybody's got sales and specials going on. Matter of fact, all of my makeup today is things that you can get from Sephora because today is the first day of the Sephora VIB sale and I wanted to do a separate video, but I just, I mean, I'm sometimes I might even have to post two in a day. I've got so many things I want to do and tell you. But anyway, so today's makeup, all of it you can get from Sephora, including the stuff I use to do my hair. And so that, where was I going after that? Oh, just talking about all the different sales and stuff. So this weekend, I'm going to do videos on Saturday and Sunday, and I'm hopefully going to do them upstairs in my new room. It is not completely finished. Okay, the credenza, remember? They thought they didn't bring it to me because they said that they were supposed to pick up four items and then they rescheduled it. So John and I were sitting here from 10, until two and then I had to go get Will and I called them at about 2.30 and I said, you know, we were supposed to get a credenza today. I was wondering if he's on his way to our house. Oh ma'am, well this morning when they went to load it on the truck, it needed to be repackaged. So we're gonna have to reschedule. <laughs> and I said, I know it's not your fault, but it sure would have been nice to get a call. Well, we didn't know that until this morning so I just didn't even argue with her and I just rescheduled it for Monday. So I asked her, I said, well, did you look at the credenza to see if it was damaged? And she said, no ma'am, there was no damage. So we shall see at this point, I'm just not gonna worry about it. If it, I'm just gonna deal with whatever happens. Then I checked on my chairs for my kitchen table and they are not gonna be here until at least the earliest will be December. And you guys know I'm hosting Thanksgiving and Christmas here. So what I might do is check around at the consignment shops. And if I can find four chairs, five chairs, five is what I ordered, but if I can find four chairs, even if I can find two chairs and two chairs, I am probably gonna just buy some inexpensive chairs and then I will just sell them on Craigslist or I think Facebook Marketplace or something that John uses because I'm ready to have some chairs over there and I want plenty of places to sit down. I mean, we've got enough, but you guys know what I mean. I think you're gonna love my room upstairs. And as soon as I get situated just a little bit, I'm gonna do a plant, kind of like a plant tour type thing too, because it was nice once I got that, I got a new coffee table, a new sofa, so I could kind of put my plants out a little bit more. Now let's go into some other things. I'm just gonna kind of start across here. Yesterday, I went to World Market. If you sign up for their text messages and in their little club thing, they send you really good coupons. And I had a 25% off just your total purchase. So I knew they had some baskets and nice planters and everything. So I went in there getting a basket. I'm trying to get a bigger, better basket for my fiddle leaf fig <laughs> upstairs. Every time I get one, it's either too short or not wide enough, or like this one I'm gonna show you is too narrow at the top, but big enough at the bottom. It's just one of those things, you know how it is. But I, I don't know how I ended up looking at this stuff, but this is a soap dish for our shower. John is a bar soap kind of guy, and he, we have just like a little plastic one in there, and it always I always empty it out and rinse it out and stuff when I'm in the shower. 
This one has the hole in it. I just thought it was so pretty. And they have so many pretty things in their bath department. I'll put some pictures up here of the towels. I was so tempted to get some of their towels, but we've kind of gone to all white towels and I just didn't want to mess that up because I like bleaching them and everything. But lots of good, just containers, soap dispensers. There was another soap dish. I think it was just like an oval black one that I almost got, but I just really loved how this one just looked like a piece of stone and I thought it would look good in the shower. And then let me show you the basket that I did get. Isn't this pretty? So I got 25% off of it, but I just thought it was so pretty. If you're like me, you know, baskets are not really my thing, but if they're just right, I like them. And this one was $79.99 and I got the 25% off, but I think it is really pretty. Even if you are more traditional, modern, or whatever my style is, transitional, I think this fits in nicely. And then I don't know if you noticed, I changed out my plant over here. This is an old planter from West Elm. And this is a Monstera Deliciosa. And it's one of, I've got a huge one upstairs and I've got a much smaller one. You'll see I've got, this is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna see how he does here. I think he'll get, you know, a lot of sun, but I like something like big and wild right there kind of, you know, to go with everything else. And let me show you the planter that I have on my other table because it's at World Market and I love it. Hold on. Here it is, but this is really pretty too. Matter of fact, I put both of them up there just to see which one we liked best and everyone voted. My mom liked this one best for something different, but everyone else liked that one and I really like that one. And this really looks good on my other table. And the plant is a, an imperial red philodendron. And it's actually been on my screened in porch, but I brought it in last night because it's just getting too cold out there. So I need to wash his leaves. He's got a little bit of dust on his leaves, but it's really grown well for me. So, but this pot is just really nice. Okay, so let's do this first because a lot of the outfits you will see me wearing some of these shoes. So let me go ahead and show you the shoes first. No surprise, these are the Schutz Mariana boots. I have these in, I think three or four other colors. These are the ones that I had on in pink the other day. These are the most comfortable boots for this look. To have like a high heel, pointy toe, stiletto heel boot, they are, I can wear these like I'm not gonna shop out of town for hours, but definitely a night out, a day out. If you're going from the car to a place, from the car to a place, definitely hours in these boots. And this is probably the star of the show today. These are Lucchese. And when I saw these, I thought I have to have them. They're like a pearl color. They get great reviews. And I'm hoping I'm putting some footage in here now. They just go up tall, you know, Western cowboy boots, whatever you call them, they're very in this year. I think they're in basically all the time, but they're really in this year. And the tall ones. I love the detail in the front. They are beautiful and they are not so stiff that you can't bend. I mean, look at the design in these. It's like, they're so authentic and fancy, but they are not over the top. Like, they're still so fashionable. I love these. When I put these on, I like pranced right into John's office and he loved them too. Well, these are my most expensive ones. I will say I ordered a pair of Chacovas in solid black and I'm supposed to get them today. So I will show you those this weekend. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I have been slack because I've just been so busy, but I have like a big like photo dump I need to do on Instagram. A lot of outfits that I have taken or worn this week. And so I will put the Tacovas on there too. But I ordered some Tacovas, some Ariat, and the Lou Casey. And what I'm gonna do is wear these and see which ones I think are the best ones or 
or all of them worth it. These were definitely the most expensive, but they're beautiful. I know I'm gonna wear these so much. These are the first ones that I ordered. They're Ariat. You can get these in solid black with a solid black heel. But what I wanted was something different. I wanted something that when I wear these with leggings or boot, I mean leggings or jeans or whatever, I wanted them I wanted to be able to wear something really plain on top and kind of had something edgy at the bottom. You know, just something unexpected. I did not want to go the safe route with these, but if you do, they have these in just like a solid black and they are so comfortable. They are just so killer. My mom has the Ariat boots. I think she has some Lucases too, and she really likes the Ariat. She said that they are just so, so comfortable, and these are just really cool. Very, I always think of like Kate Moss, and I, I always, I don't really think of like Western wear. I just think of just that rock and roll, edgy vibe with a pair of cowboy boots. Just put these on with some boot cut jeans or just straight leg jeans, and then something normal, you know, like, a white shirt that I'll be showing you soon. So love them, love them. And these were not very expensive. Okay, now let's go in a totally different direction. These pink pumps that my mom brought to my attention, they are gorgeous. I've already worn them, that's why I was wiping my hands off. <laughs> these pumps in any color, these are the Hazel by Sam Edelman. If you need a good pair of black pumps, nude pumps, but especially if you want a color they have so many good colors, so many good styles, and this is the closest pump I have ever found to the Stuart Weitzman Nouveau that I love so much. They are so comfortable and just beautiful on the foot, and these are just gonna look so good with so many things. I all black outfit with this pop of color, and the fact that they're suede just really makes them special. What you doing, Chanel? We brought our two um, huge ponytail palms. They're about this high off of the front porch, and we have them over here by the window until we decide what we want to do. And so she is in ponytail palm heaven right now. Okay, one more pair of shoes. What the heck took me so long to get these shoes? I wore these yesterday, loved them all day. They are so me, like I felt so much like myself in these and they are not clunky, they are not hard to walk in. They, I mean, I just kept them on all day. Even when I went to go get Will, which usually if a pair of shoes are uncomfortable, I'll switch into my little Uggs before I go get him. They are perfect, perfect. Look at her opening that door, hold on. So, this is the top that I actually ordered twice. I saw it on Instagram and put it in my basket and I don't know what happened, but then I ended up ordering two. I just thought it was so cool, but I don't think it looks good on me. A lot of these things, tell me down below. I already know I'm gonna have to send um, that, the extra one of these back anyway. So I think a lot of this stuff is going to go back. I really tried you guys. I'm trying to get some different things, but they're just, you'll see, they're just not me. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the colors or what, but I like this. It's soft. I just don't think it looks good on me. And this was my favorite. Look at this beautiful top beautiful sleeves. This is exactly what I was talking about. Say you are just wanting to go to a neighborhood function. You are wanting to go to Christmas Eve, or I always love pink for Christmas, or just anything, or just every day. It is so pretty, and it fits well, size small. Do you hear Chanel? Oh my goodness, you guys. She is high maintenance. So anyway, that is one of my favorite things. These, you're definitely gonna have to tell me, I'm gonna have to stand up, yes or no with these. At first, when I tried them on with the boots, it was a major no. I mean, I was so disappointed. These are Spanx, and they're new. I think I still have the tags on them. Yeah, here it is. They're new Midnight Shade 
flare jeans in small. And one of my Instagram friends told me about these and I told her, I said, well, I'll order them and try them for us. And I was just now getting to the point where I wanted to try them. And I love the way they fit. And I think that they, what might save them is the fact that they looked good with the heels. They did not look good with the boots. And the thing is, if you have longer legs than I do, they might really look a lot better on you. So you'll have to let me know what you think about these, but they were very comfortable and I think they fit well. Okay, here are two big crazy no-nos. I think a lot of this looked like dressier online than it did when I got it. But I liked this print. See how it has like the birds, the dove, I guess, or sparrow. And what I really liked is the, a lot of the stars are sheer. And so I thought, wow, that might look really cool with a pair of jeans and boots or something, but it does not look good on me. And it was $130. Oh my goodness. See what I mean? But it's beautiful in itself and it feels so nice, but it just, you'll see, it just does not look good on me. Okay, this one I did not even try on because when I got it, I just thought, what were you thinking? This is just way, way, way too casual for me. It did nothing for me. I tried it on without even buttoning it up and it just, it, I mean, it just did not look good. It's almost like it's too muted too muted for me. So that's going back. I mean, it's really soft and pretty and I'm really trying. This one was $98. So, and then here's the extra one of these I ordered. Okay, this, you'll see me struggling in the video with this. This is a cape, one size fits all. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I thought about this. So many of you asked me about that poncho type thing that I put on the other day in my Honey Love try on video. That is the one from Shalice Noel. And she had given us a discount code because it's pretty expensive. So I'm gonna have to find that video or I'll go back to her direct message. And I will put the link and see if the code is still good. But this is similar, but it is a cape. And it has the really easy, easy, snap right here. I could not get over that there wasn't a like hole, like an armhole or something, but there's, it's not, it's really a cape. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you think I'll end up wearing it. I thought it might be cool, like even to put over a dress. This is in theory, it's cute. I just don't think it looked good on me. It's a little cardigan type t-shirt. It was $80 and I just think it's like I like the ruffle and the puff sleeves but not in this fabric. I think I would want it to be in a like fancier nicer fabric. I, I'm telling you it was it was sad. This I've had in my cart so long. I think I had this in my cart last year and it comes in several different colors and I'm not going to put it on because it pulls my hair. Every time, I mean like anytime you even move, it's pulling your hair. It is just, I don't see how anybody can wear this, but how cool is that? And I mean, it's heavy and nice. Imagine this with a white tank top, faded ripped up jeans and cool shoes of some sort. It just would make an outfit. Look, it's caught right now. So, whoo, this sucker is going back. This was something that was on one of their, this is probably what started it, this is probably what got me on the website. I got an email and the girl had on this really cool black blouse and this was around her neck. Well, I thought this was part of her, it was like a sequin top. Then I realized it was her, a necklace. It's like a wrap necklace type thing. And I love it, it comes in several colors, but it is metally rough. It is so rough. I cannot imagine wearing this around my bare neck. So it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna send this back. I'm telling you, it was a bad strikeout. This was a good one. 
This is the AYR Air, however, I need to ask them how you pronounce it. This is the shirt that I told you I would try. They have all, they have these in like so many stripes, but they even have like a couple of good solid colors. Like one of them is maybe like a nudie off-white type color. Fits beautifully and love it. And I got the small. So this was a really, if this and the jumpsuit make it all worthwhile, they keep it and all the shoes were so good. And then one more thing I wanted to show you. One of my subscribers made this for me. Her name is Cass. And I just thought that was so pretty. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. It might, I don't know, it looks good in here. But thank you so much. That was so thoughtful and kind and I appreciate it so much. I, do I did I have any new makeup? I know I have, you know, like I said, more things coming. I've got a pair of boots that I bought from Anthropology that haven't gotten here yet. I have those pair of Chacobas that aren't here yet. I have a robe. I got some new robes for the winter. I want to do like a separate video for that. And like I said, I'll be doing this weekend, I'll be doing a, I'm kind of doing a, an inexpensive take on last Friday's haul where I tried on t-shirts and tops, fancy tops and jeans. So look for that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a gift guide type video this weekend. And then I've got plenty of good stuff coming up for jewelry. I've got on the Dean Davidson jewelry that I showed you the other day, these earrings. Oh my gosh. I love them. This is probably these and this are probably my favorite things because they're just go-tos and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. I just think about you all the time and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully upstairs. See you then. Bye-bye.